In this flight, I got comfortable flying at night again. And after some landings at Orlando Executive, I flew over to a small private runway called Orlando North. This will be the darkest night landing I've done so far and definitely one of the most exciting. Then I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison with some day operations. So sit back and enjoy, and remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Orlando Exec Tower, Skyhawk 738, Sierra Yankee, ready for takeoff. November 8, Sierra Yankee, make left close traffic, runway 7, clear for takeoff, traffic to Honda Jet on a four mile final. Alright, we'll make left close traffic, and 38, Sierra Yankee is clear for takeoff, we'll make it quick. 4 up under 3007. So after a bunch of landings at Orlando Executive, it was time to leave the pattern and try something a little bit more challenging. Maria Sierra Yankee, remain outside the Bravo, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved and we'll make it remain outside the Bravo, 3 Sierra Yankee. Orlando North is about 20 miles northwest from Orlando Executive. I had never flown there at night, so I was pretty excited to see what it was like to land on a short runway with only the most basic lights. Orlando North traffic, Skyhawk 738 Yankee, in the right downwind for runway 09, Orlando North. Orlando North traffic, Skyhawk 738 Yankee, turning final, runway 09, Orlando North. Oh, this is awesome! Oh, these lights are pretty good. They're a lot better than I thought. Orlando North traffic, Skyhawk 738 here, Yankee back taxiing runway 09, Orlando North. Alrighty, cool. Yeah, these lights are a lot better than I thought they would be. I had no problem seeing the runway mainly because this plane has fantastic lights. Uh, okay, so here we're going to turn around. Or we'll do a little short field. Orlando North traffic, Skyhawk 738, Sierra Yankee departing runway 09 for the east, Orlando North. So here we're going to really check our engine. Everything looks good, and let's hit it. And then when we take off, we're going to use the instruments. 60. Now 70, gaining speed, kind of using the instruments, right, making sure we're climbing like hell. And into the black abyss. One quick note, the Cessna on the left has a 180 horsepower engine, 
while the one on the right only has 150 horsepower. You can really see some big performance differences between the two. Here, Yankee, you're number two, runway seven, clear to land, the wind is calm. Number two, runway seven, clear to land, uh, three eight here, Yankee. Turning the lights back to medium step. Something I learned during this flight is that even basic runway edge lights can be sufficient for night flying. It's much better to learn the area during the day, but when done correctly, night flying can be very exciting and enjoyable. And it felt pretty good to end the night with a beautiful landing back at the Orlando Executive Airport. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to hit that like and subscribe button. For those who are new to the channel, be sure to check out some of my other videos. And for now, blue skies, and I'll see you on the next flight. Ooh, that was awesome.